Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Abzik bin Razli and today I'm going to explain to you how does this low ball technique happens and how does it work. So basically in the definition we already understand that a low ball technique is basically like you've been offered an initial price for a certain thing and most of the time the product that you've been received has the lowest price. It really cops to your own thought and you really want to buy it. So you're given that price. Basically it's pretty cheap lah. That is how his low bar works. So after you bought that item, and then you've already signed the contract, suddenly this 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 person, the salesman that wanted you to buy his stuff, will say to you, "Oh, basically we've installed something like extra inside this product, so you have to pay around like two hundred something more than that actually, rather than the stated price." And of course, you're gonna feel like, "But why? Why do I have to pay for that? Because I've already understand that." This stuff is basically at that price. Why do you have to add more? So basically, this is how low ball technique works. You're going to comply. There's a high chance that a person who already bought that stuff, or in the process of thinking that he has already possessed that item, will actually comply with the salesperson, and in the end, pay more than what he has budgeted for. This is mostly used for salesperson because they basically want that money. They make something like make excuses, saying like, oh. Basically, we have something extra. We have installed something more. Like, for example, for a car, basically it's around fourteen thousand dollars, forty thousand ringgit. You have to pay fourteen thousand. But suddenly, when you go, uh, when they think about it, and then the salesperson will say, "Oh, we've installed like two thousand worth of installments inside this car. You have to pay two thousand more." What do you have to do? You have to comply. That's that's the reason. So basically, we can already understand that is really. Wait, eh? I have someone who is calling me. Hello, sir. Uh, I just want to tell you that the game costed five hundred more. What? Yes. What do you mean? Five hundred ringgit. I have to pay extra five hundred? Yes, sir. Because there's more installment to the game. The game costed more than that? Yes, sir. You kidding me? No, sir. There's a lot of installments, sir. Sorry. I, I. You know what? I already want to play that game. I'll just pay extra five hundred. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Why, why not? Why not? All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll bank it in. Yeah, thank you. Nice doing business with you. Oh my god! Someone called me and told me that the game that I ordered actually costed five hundred more. Can you believe this? I have to pay for five hundred. Gods! Wait, wait, wait. Another call. I don't know who is this. Sir. Yes. About the haircare product, it will be more. Wait, 18. what? Yes, eighty more ringgit for the hair care product. The hair, the hair care product. Yes, sir. Eighty ringgit. Yes, sir. Extra more. Yeah, because there's a lot of install. You're gonna be joking to me, man. I'm filming something over here. Are you dumb? I'm sorry, sir, but the products is. Oh just man, people nowadays. Okay, I'll pay for it, man. Eighteen ringgit plus. Okay, sure. Extra eight ring, eighty ringgit. Fine, fine, whatever. It's a good deal, sir. Don't call me back. I'm not gonna buy anything from you anymore, I'm man. So Come on, man. This is. I'm sorry. Some steel or something. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. God's sake, bro. See, when I was explaining about low ball, two people called me and told me that their product costed more. This is rude. I go gonna low ball.